Good morning, folks. We've got more solar activity and more is coming. We've got highlights from the cold weather report and four top science stories hitting the atmosphere and cosmology. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We had another solar flare we'll check out in just a moment. We've got a growing sunspot risk. That southern coronal hole amps the earthquake watch today and will have its solar wind arrive at Earth Friday or Saturday. And that previous CME glancing blow should arrive tonight or tomorrow. Earlier this morning, we took an impulsive M7.4 solar flare. They keep firing, but impulsively, and are not yet producing CMEs. The sunspot is turning to face the Earth, so any CMEs it does produce in the coming days are likely to be aimed our way. We have several sunspots right now, but that southern one is the most complex. The most complex magnetism within it is the northern part of the active region where the blue and red are in close proximity. Flare watch continues. Heading over to coldweatherreport.com, sharing the record hailstone for a part of Oklahoma, more than two inches bigger than the previous record. That's amazing. And yes, hail should certainly be breaking these records as cosmic rays surge during the magnetic pole shift. We have even more snow records falling after the latest winter blast, and remember there is at least one more expected to be on its way to the USA near the start of April. Hopefully you caught yesterday's two cosmology pieces. This was the warm dark matter paper in the afternoon show, and while it is another goose chase here, it is also another good example of how the cold dark matter models are being abandoned by the astronomers. We've got a good one up next on the atmospheric rivers hitting the Arctic region and how their interdecadal pattern is driven by the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation. Not only are all atmospheric decadal scale patterns modulated by solar activity, but the AMO itself has several papers confirming the sun's impact on it, meaning our sun works the Arctic atmospheric rivers in two ways. Heading to the other pole, the southern annular mode, SAM, controls a good deal of surface melting processes in Antarctica. The southern annular mode is also tied to solar activity. These cited paragraphs, by the way, are found in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Lastly, folks, this is the propaganda being shoved in our faces by nature. Climate models can't explain the heat waves of 2023. They also can't explain the record cold and snow events that kicked off the year, which they don't mention in this article. But the reason they can't explain them is because they are, of course, based on nonsense, like the cosmology we saw yesterday. And they don't include the impact of Earth's weakening magnetic field. You can learn more about all of those topics with our books, including the Earth Disaster Cycle and Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.